Here at RSTV, we like to take you inside some of the restaurants that are oldies, but goodies. Bienvenidos a El Sol de Tata. We're about one mile east of downtown, in the up and coming Near East neighborhood. Our food is authentic Mexican, not your fair, typical Tex-Mex. We have very authentic dishes. For example, our Costilla Sonora, which is a beef spare rib, wonderful plate. We have our lamb shank wrapped in banana leaf. Has many spices and herbs, uh, chipotle. Uh, also, that's something you would never find in a, just a regular Tex-Mex restaurant. More of our signature dishes are Luna de Miel. Uh, pretty much has about eight different uh, types of seafood prepared tableside. A romantic dish as uh, we do call it our Mexican Viagra. Although we do admit the food does take a little bit longer, we promise you that uh, it'll be well worth it. Now one of our most popular drinks is the Cervecerita, which is a fusion of our margarita on the rocks, our house margarita, and the beer of your choice, Mexican beer, of course. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. You drink it down, the beer bubbles up. It changes it hits the, the whole flavor of the cocktail itself. Right. It's delicious. It changes all the flavors. It's very wonderful. outstanding, yeah. Guacamole dip is probably the best in Indianapolis. It's all made fresh. It's made from a pestle and mortal. It is really good. We do welcome huge birthday parties. We specialize in that. We will make it a big deal when your happy birthday person comes in or an anniversary. You can spot us pretty easy. I mean, you're driving down Washington, you see a big, ugly yellow building. Uh, that's us. Don't be afraid, come on in. I guarantee you, you'll love uh, what you see when you get inside. You will always have somebody greeting you at Sol de Tala, including Chauntless, our donkey, which in most cases has more personality than some of the hosts I've had. <laughs> so we are crashing the party a little bit um, at the tables of Pam and Judy. Talk to me guys a little bit. Is this your first time coming to El Sol? No, I've been coming for many, many years. What did you guys order today? The tropical guacamole okay. and the cheese dip. What is making it tropical guacamole? What makes it um, different? Well, it looks like they add pecans, which is kind of a new thing. Awesome. And, and, mango. and mango. And mango. Right. It's probably the oldest Mexican restaurant in Indianapolis. They were here long before any other Mexican food was here. And it was a place where we'd always have business lunches. Plus, they've always had the best guacamole in town, hands down, because it's made fresh when you order it. So it's fantastic. It's wonderful. I love the freshness of the pre preparations. The salsa was good. Um, and I'm usually not a guacamole fan, but the guacamole had like onions and tomatoes. I'm hearing real good things about this guacamole. I would not have stopped here from the outside of the building. Uh -huh. But as soon as you come inside, you are transformed. Jumbo shrimp with bacon and ham. Oh, awesome. And some rice and a salad. And I thought it was really good. I really like shrimp, so I'll order anything with shrimp. <laughs> the thing that blew me away the most was the queso guanco. Mm -hmm. It was awesome. It was so awesome. I put it on the rest of my food. <laughs> so the queso that was for the chips just kind of ended up being a topping. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I got the uh, chicken fajita. Okay. Very good. All right, so what do we got here? Because, well, what's left here? This is the pecana. <laughs> oh, it was this, the pecana. It was the pecana. <laughs> and it's just their burrito. Okay. Um, it was really good. And what would you say so far about the atmosphere here at El Sol? I actually love the atmosphere. I love the fact that I'm indoors and it feels like I'm outside. Yeah. So we caught up with Ruben again, the proprietor here at El Sol, who's a very busy man, mind you, but we managed to get him behind the bar. Yes, finally. And one of our pretty much signature drinks right here is La Cazuela. La Cazuela. Uh, made with many fruits, uh, fresh fruits, as you can see down here, uh, many liqueurs, and of course, very good reposado tequila. By the way, all these are organic. Okay. Okay, organic oranges, organic lemons, organic limes. Okay, get some pineapple. You got some good flavors going already. Oh, yeah. This does have six different liqueurs. Okay. Okay. Uh, the measurements are just right where it's not too strong. It's mm -hmm. nice and smooth okay. and it's actually, it's actually amicable to the palate. Let me just tell you, just from right here, smell of vision it smells Isn't it awesome. amazing? The crown of this, of course, uh -huh. is a little bit of our secret liqueur that we have here. Okay. You Should I stand back? You're dealing with a professional, my dear. <laughs> so I'm saying. Oh, wow. 
So, so you're a man of many talents. We've caught up with you here behind the bar. Yes. And we're going to catch up with you with your signature, one of your signature dishes. Our signature our dish, dish that's a wonderful compliment for this. Okay. It's called our Costilla Sonora, which is a beef short rib that is out of this world. Awesome. Okay, so we are ending our day at El Sol with your signature dish, kind of saving the best for last. This okay. is called La Costilla Sonora. Okay. Now, this is actually a braised beef short rib. Mm. Okay, Gosh. now this is pretty much cooked for six hours. Mm -hmm. And we do use our signature Negra Modelo beer oh to cook wow. in it. Oh my gosh. That is, that is wonderful. Oh, yeah. It's insane, there's it's some, insane. There's something about spice that just wakens the palate. Don't wanna make it too spicy, cause then mm -hmm. you can't, once again, you can't taste the actual meat, the mm -hmm. juices and all the different flavors wow. that are in that dish. Come here, try this, try anything, the guacamole, and, and don't don't make it, oh, I'm driving down East Washington. No, make a point to come here to 2444 East Washington to Elsa. Correct. We'll Thank be you very waiting. much, Ruben. Thank you very much.